in this question we are uh, given with an athlete runs a distance of 1500 meter in the following manner it means there is some distance uh, length is 1500 meter but condition is given the manner is given the first manner is starting from rest he accelerates himself uniformly at 2 meter per second square till he covers distance of 900 meter what does it mean i will explain suppose from here athlete is starting and athlete has to go here so to do so uh, like suppose this is the straight line athlete athlete will cover and the total distance is 15 uh, this total distance is uh, actually 1500 meter but they are saying athlete is starting from here itself zero velocity and then accelerating so speed is increasing 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 but condition is acceleration is given as 2 meter per second square but this phenomena will keep on happening only till how much only till 900 meter okay now see here see i'll read the question again an athlete runs a distance of 1500 meter means that is the total distance in the following manner okay the first manner is starting from rest it means u is equal to 0 he accelerates himself uniformly just now i have explained uniformly uniformly but uniform acceleration it means that a is equal to 2 meter per second given here till he covers a distance of 900 meter okay so till here the concept is clear this distance what is given here that is 900 meter clear he then runs the remaining distance of 600 meter at the uniform speed developed what does it mean here you have a catch point why they are using the word developed actually here they are trying to show that because it is acceleration so this u is equal to zero velocity will increase 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 and you'll be having here certain velocity whatever final velocity you are reaching at this location that final velocity is going to be constant for the remaining 600 meter means whatever velocity we have developed here at the end of 900 meter that velocity we are going to use to continue the remaining 600 meter but constant velocity constant velocity you can clearly see here then he runs the remaining distance of 600 meter at uniform speed okay means what whatever speed is being developed here that will not change speed should be constant so our first job is let's calculate this speed itself so we can apply the formula of v square is equal to u square plus 2 as where your v square we are going to calculate that is the final speed here so v square and u square is initial speed 0 so forget that part so 2 into 2 into 900 okay now you can see here this 2 into 2 now i'm going to take a square root so when you will take a square root of everything so what will happen this v square will become v and 2 into 2 will give you 2 and 900 means 30 into 30 correct so 30 so it is 60 actually so velocity here what we are getting is 60 meter per second now if your velocity is 60 meter per second then how much time you have taken here so that time you can calculate in this journey suppose this time is t1 so again you apply this formula v is equal to u plus a t now final speed we know uh, 60 and initial speed is 0 acceleration was 2 into t so your t1 is coming as 30 second i hope it's clear why t1 is 30 second once we are clear with t1 then the second part is very easy part why second part is easy because in second part you don't have acceleration acceleration is zero remember when i was teaching you the theory of the chapter i told you uh, we have equations v is equal to u plus a t s is equal to u t plus half a t square v square is equal to u square plus 2 a s if your acceleration is zero then this part this part this part will go zero so means v is equal to u initial velocity equal to final velocity s is equal to ut this is only your ninth class basic concept s is equal to ut what is that you can see speed and you can send time down so distance by time is equal to 
speed right so because the speed is given distance is given so we can find out time we can definitely use this equation to find out time okay so in this remaining journey of 600 meter how much time is involved so you apply very simple equation s is equal to ut plus half a t square part will go zero because uniform speed right there is no acceleration in this so your s is uh, 600 meter your u is uh, nothing but this is speed through which i mean at which you are going to start your journey that is nothing but 60 meter so 60 into t so 60 and 600 cancel in 10 seconds so we got our t2 i mean t2 means for for this journey uh, your t2 is 10 seconds total clear so t1 was how much t1 was uh, 30 second and t2 is 10 so total time total time t1 plus t2 okay it means 30 plus 10 that is going to be 40 second so we got that total time to cover this is 40 second anyway we got our total time as 40 second but now we have further question they are asking in the question if you see calculate the time taken by the athlete to cover the two parts of the distance covered okay means bo for both the parts our job over we have solved the numerical but after that also we have also find the time when he is at the center of the track center of the track means track length is 1500 so center will be at 750 correct 750 by 750 because they are asking at the center imagine from here uh, the athlete is starting and athlete is going till here right so total distance is 1500 so where will be the center center will be exactly somewhere here so if center is there then this distance will be 750 meter so you remember in the beginning your speed was zero but your acceleration was two meter per second square so how much time will it take to reach here that time we have to calculate how can we calculate the time every data is sufficient you can clearly see here data is given you apply this concept s is equal to ut plus half a t square but in this case this ut part you put zero why to put zero because your velocity is zero then you solve for the second part a is equal to 750 is given so put 750 okay half and a they will cancel because a value is also 2 so half into 2 into t square 2 2 got cancelled so we got t square is equal to under root 750 now you just if you are a serious candidate let me know what is the square root of under root 750 because that is only your time so answer will come plus minus under root 750 but you know very well that time can never be negative because time is a scalar quantity time negative time has no sense okay we are not doing quantum physics here <laughs> we are doing newtonian physics time cannot be negative for our physics in future when you are doing any kind of phd or something in these kind of interesting topics then maybe you may you may create something or you may discover something like how to go back in time then time can be negative but that physics is very far from my own approach i don't know that much okay so anyway t we got as under root 750 so positive one so you just comment what is the square root of 750 okay now let's meet into the next question